morning. All right, we're outside my house right now. It's about 4.20. Uh, we're heading down to Grass Clippings Rolling Hills. I'm gonna work a shift on the grounds crew today with Scotty and the team. Scotty's got a list of things for me to do. I don't know much, how much help I can be. I've never worked on the grounds crew before, so there might be a lot of a lot of learning and a lot of teaching. But uh, I'm I'm dressed at least dressed the part, so uh, we're gonna head down there right now. Maybe pick up some snacks on the way. I feel like it's the first day of school. Um, yeah, let's head down there. Scotty down here? Got it. Alright guys, good morning. Mr. Pete Wilson joining us this morning. Um, he'll be out here pledging. Um, Coming to work, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're not sure what we're gonna do with him yet. I think we got a couple ideas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll get him out of there. We'll have him push that for sure. He'll be our golden retriever for the day. All right, let's have him go. Let's go. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Pete's gonna be running around, a uh, little bit of everything. We'll get him on some mowers, get him on some detail cleaning, um, just try to show him the golf course a little bit. We'll get him out on the putting green um, that we sprigged, so we gotta get that rolled. So you're basically gonna be pushing a sod roller for a little bit, getting that pressed down. Um, yeah, man, just helping us do all the things that we need to get done. You know, having an extra set of hands is always helpful out here. What's your what? earplugs? What? What's your earplugs? Oh, yeah. Miggy's gonna be on the big blower, kind of going behind the uh, fairway mower. Okay. So you're gonna be focusing on the t tops themselves and okay. then approaches just off the front of the greens, every other air that he's kind of going. He'll kick up a little bit of clippings. If you catch the greens mower, you can kind of go behind him and just clean that surface behind him as well. And then when the greens mowers, when his buckets start to get full, he'll dump his clippings yeah. onto the cart path. Okay. So scoop shell, just scoop them up, throw them in the back of your cart, and then blow the area just to kind of scatter any of the clippings. Okay. And then the clippings that are around the, the green, I'm putting into a into a pile and putting it in here too? Uh, I mean, if it's already out in the grass, you should be able to just scatter it. Okay. And it'll be fine. It's just the stuff that's piled up. You'll just want to scoop up. Okay. Um, it's on the path. And then after you kind of get around the course, uh, either we'll reassign you, but the clippings can just get thrown in the dumpster here at okay. the yard. The grass clippings? Yes. Nice. Of course. <laughs> the real question is if you know how to drive stick. That, I, I learned how to drive stick last time. You learned how to drive stick on one of my machines, great. <laughs> no, I know how to drive stick. How do you start the cart? <laughs> um, oh, wait. There we go, baby. We are back. We are back, baby. We are back. Okay. Must be European. What the fuck is going on? Is that one? Just, just want to make sure I know everything. Yeah, one is first gear. Okay. Second is. <laughs> no, yeah, but, oh. Did I give you quad 11? I'm in one right now, right? Should be. It's going back on me. Oh yeah, so this one, just it's not great. City okay. of Tempe's finest. Hey. And we're off. I don't know if I call that driving stick, but. <laughs> Gotta try. There we go. Oh. There you go, ripped again. Joke. There you go. Rip it in. So I think the best way to do it is, you know, you have this area. So I would start in like a corner okay. or an edge. 
just work your way across as a process, you know, so you kind of snake across the whole thing. See if I can get this baby to work. I think Sky's a little nervous about me driving this thing. As he should be. <laughs> like a glove. That's how you debate. That's how you debate. Keeper question, uh -huh. the, the grass clippings, do they get repurposed or like re uh, picked up by the by the turf or is it? The big piles, we'll just chuck them in the dumpster, but the yeah. whole point of just blowing clippings, one, you wanna open them up so you're not just leaving turf down there to wilt. But yeah. I mean, technically by scattering grass clippings, you will generate a little bit of nitrogen and kind of acts as a natural fertilizer, but not on a very large scale for what we're doing. The goal is to compost them and make uh, some organic fruit at some point, but we need to get the operation to that point. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. All right. I think I'm doing good. I mean, I don't really know the standard, but um, I'm trying to do it what I'm told. Looks pretty good. I, what would you say? He said to follow the, chase the blower. Come on, come on, Bessie. Here we go. Yep. I feel really out of place. Honestly, I don't even know how to pour this gasoline in here. And I, uh, but it's it's one thing at a time, you know. Hey, Scotty. Quick question. Uh, how do we get the gasoline to come out of the... Where's McNeil when you need him? How we doing? Not good there. <laughs> what? Do that in the desert. What's that? Oh, do that in the... Gas kills grass. Good call. Desert or concrete or... Okay. Anywhere but where you're doing. <laughs> oh! Good news is nothing was coming out, so. Hey, you gotta pull this. You gotta pull it. Yeah. It's hard to get gas out of it if you don't open it. Gotta get those grass clippings. Someone's gotta do it. That. Fresh clippings in the morning. Are we missing a step here? There's a hole in the... You know, Scott's giving me a lot of leeway here. Not that I'm going very fast in this cart, but if you would imagine it would fly out. I guess we'll, we'll learn on the fly. Seems about right. So like the whole point of this, uh, as we're growing in sprigs, um, getting a roll on it, combined with mowing, fertilizing, top dressing, will help encourage the lateral growth, kind of spread out and get better coverage amongst the green. So basically we're just encouraging it to kind of grow out and spread 
Thing is, when you're doing this, you should make sure you're not digging in with your heels too much because there is a lot of sandy surface and some so uh, softer areas. How big is this green again? 15,000 square feet. It's a big one. So you won't encounter as much up here because it's more established turf, but like on your slopes or areas where it's not as much grass, you'll feel the sand start to shift under your feet a little bit. So try not to dig in with your feet. You know, you want to try to put your arms and shoulders into it, push okay. out in front of you. And you can kind of see your old tracks where you're going. So just make yeah. sure you don't leave any skips. Try to get it all to fill in here before we open up. That's where I come in. That's where you come in. Let's go. Get it done. Delicate little process here. I, I got heavy feet. My wife always complains about it. Keeping the kids up. Woke them up this morning at four. That was fun. Yeah, I feel like they're giving me the jobs no one wants to do. So what's, uh, what's, what's your role here on Grounds Crow? I'm the assistant superintendent okay. here at Grass Clippings. Assistant, told you, assistant coach. That's right. He goes, why aren't you calling Scotty? So you always call the assistant coach. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm Bobby the big man, you're watching film. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So there's coyotes out here, and we got, obviously you have dogs on property. What's what's the situation there? Uh, they're not friends. Yeah. Um, they're, uh, coyotes are a little bit of a menace. Okay. So they, they like to bark. Uh, started out, he was intimidating enough you can believe that. Um, <laughs> it's, we're starting to go away from that. I think they realize he has no cardio or stamina. Um, so they just kind of will run a circle around him and, and bark at him while he catches his breath. But uh, but he'd take those guys down, right? If they... 100%. Yeah. Easy money. That's for heavyweight champion. It's, you know, heavyweight versus featherweight. How in the world... Did they manicure golf courses back in the the 1900s, late 1800s? Tom Morris, he didn't have a roller. I don't know what's harder, uh, rolling this green or driving the, the Toro truck, but um, yeah, I think they actually messed with me because he said they weren't going to go off for like another hour, so I think this is part of like being a grunt is they just mess with you all day and give you the grunt work. Um, but it is 90 degrees out, so not bad getting a little wet. It's a 15,000 square foot putting green that's going to be lit up come November. It takes a lot of love right now, but that thing's going to be special. Real special. Wait, do you have my phone? Well, we gotta go get some after you all. Where do we get rocks? So we have a little piles on 17. It's like no. 17, 15, and 18. There's a big, huge little pile right there. We've been just collecting that, throw it in there, oh. sprinkle it. We just go on hands or we? We, I got two shovels back there. Oh yeah. So we're good to go. This is a nice rig. So we're going to take this rock right here, we're going to go to nine, and there's drainage that we're having a little issue with, so we're going to go right along the turf edge, put rocks through there, and hopefully it'll dam it up and help the drainage out by a lot. But yeah, but here's the fun part, is digging this stuff out. Let's do it. Oh yeah. So tell me again, where, where are you from? From Baghdad, Arizona. Baghdad, I can't say I've ever heard of that. Where's Baghdad, Arizona? So, 60 miles west of Prescott, Arizona. Okay. A small little town. About, I think now it's like 3,500 people that live there. Probably one more scoop and then we can head to nine. Okay. All right. How many, uh, how many loads do you think we need to do? Is this like well, a. I got to see McNeil's line, but might be quite a bit of loads. 
might have them come out here with the tractor and just dump it there. Alrighty. Well, we'll hit oh. to nine and then we'll start that process. On to the next one. Oh yeah. So what do we got here? What are we damn So out? right here, we got our drainage. So as you can see, it's just super muddy. Yeah. It's a muddy mess. So it goes all the way. Might want to watch the footing there. Might want to come up all the way here. And we're just going to kind of dam it up with rocks. Make it look like this natural kind of habitat right here. Yeah. But yeah, if you get, you're getting most of that from this valley of those hills right there. Yep. It's just coming through and seeping through right right there. So. Okay. So there's another spot right up there too. Well uh, Robert helped me out learning how to pick rocks and uh, get my hands dirty. We, uh, I think we, we solved the, the, the drainage issue. Yeah. And thanks to McNeil's expertise. But uh, Robert from Baghdad. Oh yeah. Happy to have him on the crew. This guy's a keeper. Glad to be here. Where do I put in my application? I want to be on the staff. Trash can. Trash can. So, oh, dang. Got a comfy captain's chair too, it's mm -hmm. the best part. There's like hydraulics on this thing? Yeah. This thing is legit. You started me out on the 111 workman that... Oh yeah, the worst workman that we have. I literally thought I broke it. You left the lights on, by the way, when you parked it. What? You left the headlights on when you parked it. Oh my god. It's slacking today. I know. It's actually strike three. Strike so. three. <laughs> This is Trace, he's on the staff. Um, Trace, what are we doing here? I, obviously we're cutting some grass, but I have no idea how to operate this spaceship. Yeah, so we're on the rough mower here today. It's just kind of like the final part of the full mow that we do out here. This first thing we do, obviously, you kind of start it up here with the key. Look at this red light since it's a diesel. You can wait for it to kind of warm up and everything. So once the light goes off, you can go ahead and turn it over. Okay. Yep, so. Yeah, so this here, this lever here is just for your RPMs. So obviously you can like speed as well too. So it goes all the way up to 3,000. So right. once you're ready to mow and everything moving around, you bump it up to 3,000. 3,000? Yeah, so then this is for your, kind of the blades start turning. So once you kind of start mowing, yeah. flip that on, you can leave it on all day. Because once you pop it up off the ground, the blades stop automatically. Okay. So yeah, so you can just leave that down once you're going. And then obviously this is your toggle to push it down. So push it forward, it's gonna drop the blades here. All right, wait, so, say it one more time, this part? So yeah, this is like your toggle for the blades here. Okay. So if you push it forward, which you can do. Oh. So this is, this is kind of your speed mode too, so this is like rabbit mode, so that'll be able to drop it and everything, and so you can run the mower actually. Okay. You pull it back, it's just for speed, so it kind of goes top speeds so when you're going in between hole and hole. Yeah. You just flip it to that so you can get through a little faster. So it's forward, now you can drop the blades. You want to bump up the RPMs all the way. All right. Yep. Just hold it all the way till you get to see the three thousand. Back and pull it back. Pull it back. Yep. And then flip the button forward. And push it down there. Be good to go. Now go. Is this gas? So we do about two, about two times, once, twice a week usually. Especially for the rough, it doesn't grow all that fast really too much, so you can get that about once a week. Fairways we do about twice a week, but like greens, approaches and everything, do pretty much about every day, pretty much, just kind of make, maintain that area of the course.
ring? Down. Tell you, this is the job I'd want right here. Oh, it's the best, isn't it? Something about cut, cutting that fresh grass. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just vibe out all day. I'm yeah, yeah. Robert moving out. rocks over yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, Perfect. again, Trace on the team. He's our guy. All right, we're out here at number seven green with Roberto. Roberto, part of the staff. What uh, what's your role on the on the team? Where'd you come from? Give us a little background on you. So I'm the golf course superintendent. Previously, I was at Palm Brook Country Club. Now here with you guys at Rolling Hills. Love it. And what uh, what do you kind of manage here day to day? Everything from the course setup to construction, which is currently happening now, to day to day prep on the course. Love it. And so you're going to show us how to cut uh, or replace a hole and then cut a new hole? Yeah, so we'll go through the process of cutting the cup, replacing the old one, and just kind of see, show you the process of how our guys set up the course in the morning. And is cutting a cup something you can screw up? Easily. We want to find a good level surface without any scalp plugs where it's not going to affect how the ball is going to roll. Okay. Roll. So we could move from this pin. We'll take out the cup and take it to a new location where we're gonna put our new cup. Okay. So we'll remove, remove the flag and then pull out the cup that's currently inside. Just kind of pull, tap it so we don't drop any material. We'll pick our location that you guys see best fit. Any on the morning, we'll probably walk the green, but over on this spot would be a good one since there's no scalp plugs and pretty good location. So essentially what you're gonna do is Drop it and then start twisting and turning. Okay. Keep it as straight as possible. Straight as possible. Twist and turn like this and pushing yeah, down at the same forward. time? Yes, sir. Okay. It takes a little little muscle. Yeah. I got some of that somewhere in there. Is that good? Keep uh, going. All the way down to the rim right here. Okay. So that's your that's essentially your guide on how far down you gotta go. Okay. And that would be good right there. And then do one twist the full 360. Way? Full Full 360, okay. and then go ahead and pull it out. That will ensure that the plug comes out. Wow. On occasion, when our greens are a little bit too saturated, we'll drop some of the plugs, so we just gotta get that material outside of the hole, just so the cup will sit flush. And then cup. you'll take your cup. That looks like a pretty good cut, right? Yes, sir. And then just drop her in there? Drop her in there, and then step on that, and now okay. Give you a level cup. There it is. So then we'll take our plug that's currently inside of the cup cutter. Okay. And we'll bring it to our old plug. Okay, put your plug back in. Okay. And just give it a slight twist and turn like that. Just level all the material that's on the bottom. Okay. And then go ahead and pull on this and it should bring out the cup. So you're gonna pull and kind of pull on this as well. So you're gonna lift it up and pull. Oh. There you go. Wow. There you go. And then we'll take the ice pick and kind of pick at it like if you're fixing a ball mark. Okay. Just to level it out. Add a little water just to hydrate it since we Took a plug out, and then we'll roll it. Roll it with your foot. My foot Give okay. it a little pressure. Oh yeah. We might want to do one more direction just to seam it up a little bit more. Oh yeah. Just like that. All right. One more water too. Yep. And okay. That's it. And then just put the flag back in the cup, and, and that's the day. Process. That's the day. Wow. Yes, sir. Just make sure we got to have the area around the cup pretty clean so wipe this off. We're good. That looks like it's standing up pretty straight. It's pretty straight to me. All right, well, that's another guy on our staff, Roberto. We're lucky to have him. Lucky to be here. Round out our crew. Uh, now I know how to cut a cup.
Yeah. Honestly, is that is that a decent cup? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Okay. The only thing we would need to go a little bit, a little lower. deeper. Yeah. Because that's where you get the balls that hit the back of the cup and pop out, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. It hits the metal and then pop back out. Yeah. If it was a tournament, rules official would not be happy. Yeah. Maybe I'm not tournament ready, but. I'm it's pretty good. I'm, I'm first pretty good. time, right? Yeah, exactly. First time's pretty good. Let's go. All right. Well, let's cut in cups. Okay, so you had me out here for, uh, apparently I got 20 minutes left, but almost a full day. Can you tell me how I did? Uh, you're definitely a little green, which is fine. You know, it's expected day one, but yeah, you have that drive and work ethic. So, you know, I'll start you out about $4 an hour and work your way up from there. <laughs> <laughs> now, where, where do I put in my application? Uh, I want on the team. No, nah, no, nah, man, you did great. Um, appreciate all your help today. There's obviously, you know, a million things we do each day. Um, which he did on the putting green. We try to roll or mow or fertilize or whatever, do something each day to it to kind of push that growth along. So that helps a ton. And then, you know, just kind of getting you involved with the operation with setup, just following the mowers, kind of looking for the details to, to clean up behind everything that presents the golf course. And, you know, hopefully you, you learned a little bit and had a good time doing it. Heard you, heard you cut a cup. I don't know the quality of it, but I'll, I'll go check and judge that later. Yeah, I gotta say, by driving around doing all these different things, the amount of work that's being done on the golf course right now is probably unprecedented. And like with the electrical coming in, uh, trenching, the boring for all the, the light poles going in. Yeah. This isn't typical, is it? No, no, it's not. You don't typically put lights on a golf course. Um, you know, and my time up at TPC, there was a time for the Phoenix Open, we put in a couple scoreboards where we had to do like four similar bores where it was like a 30 inch diameter and like seven foot down. We do four of those to support two scoreboards. I have to do 78 of those here. So it's on a much larger scale. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm glad we're doing this type of work this early in having the property. That way we can really kind of tune up the facilities around it. You know, the greens complexes, the bunkers and everything. The tees are in a great spot from the reno, but you know, we're learning a lot each day as we go and trying to figure that out. And then obviously coordinating that with all the contractors on site and everything else it's yeah it's busy i guess your last project is getting me uh ready to join the crew you know you said four dollars an hour i gotta work up to yeah we might get you 450 yeah. 450 i'm a i'm a, t a tough project but yeah. um thanks for having me out today yeah that was fun man you got a shirt so you're in yeah i'm in you're in yeah <laughs> you just gotta you know peel that off and get it tattooed on and you're good oh that'll happen, that'll happen. <laughs> your wife will love it yeah <laughs> Yeah, man, that was fun. Thanks for coming out. Bri? Nice girl. <laughs>